Okay, guys, um, I'm just going to kind of cover, let's say, like, your one or two, let's say, like, your um, points, like, today, maybe, like, on the single pan change, let's say, and also, let's say, like, some of the different ways of doing it. Um, also, I'm going to cover, let's say, some of the the more complicated, like, your um, tea cup, let's say, like, your um, serving exercises. So, hope you, you kind of get something like you out of this video. So, what you want, let's say, with the first, let's say, teacup exercise that I'm going to kind of show you which is a follow-on from the other teacup exercises they're really building upon each other so you're basically shoulder width apart you're holding let's say your hands like you're just out in front of you as if you're holding a bowl okay now the first part let's say, like go of this you turn let's say, like go to your right hand side I'm just going to demonstrate these on one side it's up to you to kind of like go get your brains like go working to be able to do the same sequence on the left hand side but you should be able to do the sequence on both sides but for the brevity of the video, I'm going to go to demonstrate it on one side and give just more explanations around them. So what you're doing is you're ho you're holding, let's say, like you're the bowl position here. You're turning like you're to your right hand side, and what you're doing is the hands are piercing out up upwards. Okay, just to about here. Now, from here, you're curling back in, clamping. Coming to a let's say like a um, let's say flower hides under the leaf let's say like a position. You're opening out, turning out let's say like with the waist like a once again. To here, then you're coming back, around, over the head, clamping, turning back in once again, getting a full twist, and then opening up, lifting up the hand dropping and falling let's say like go into a single palm let's say like or milling palm let's a position okay um some systems call it the green dragon stretches the claws like others consider call it let's say like a milling palm let's a position um so once again you're here you turn out to the right hand side the hands pierce up you turn back to the left come back in clamp Turn back to the right slightly, and then it's you're in. Let's like a um, flower hide under the leaf position. Turn out. Let's like go to the right. The hand like stretches out like once again. Then let's you're coming back in, turning the waist like go to the left, over the head, clamping in once again, turning completely. Let's like go to the the left. Hand falls over flower hides under leaf now you turn back let's say like you to the right completely like a once again and now let's say you're as you're turning to the left and you drop now one of the most important things is once you've got this at this twist like a position on here as you're turning it, the lift is kind of coming up from underneath this is kind of pressing like go down like go as well so you have lifting up both piercing up to heaven and then both dropping down at the same time you want to get that press kind of going on to the like the, the drop down so from here flower hides under the leaf lifting up press down okay so that's let's like the first let's like go um addendum let's like go on to the 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 teacup exercise like i've shown you so far then the, the other version like oh, which I'm going to kind of show you which is very similar what you're doing is you're turning out you're piercing okay up to here up to about let's say like, your, um, your throat height so you're turning the body to the left hand side pierce now you're doing let's say like your, a turn out lifting up over the back of the head reversing to here coming back in around clamp clamp once again and back to here once again so what you have like go really slowly you're piercing up you're turning let's say your waist to the left hand side the handlets is coming out around over the back of the head wrapping And out once again, coming back in, turning your body like to the left hand side, around the back of the head, wrapping, clamping in like once again, 
flower hides under the leaf and that particular movement like it once again so this is kind of like a, it's almost working on a kind of a a, lat a lateral let's say, or let's say a horizontal let's say like a plane so you're going but you're going around the head so what you're seeing is okay so that's another kind of let's say like a, 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 um, let's say another one of the the teacup exercises like good for you like good kind of like a work on the the next like one i kind of kind of want to show let's say like go here um it's a little it's a bit more complicated because it's using double like your hands okay so from from here let's say you have you have let's say holding the let's say the the the, the bowl let's say like go once again relaxing the waist okay now from here let's say you're going down and then the hand that is following the other one and you're doing the teacup position as if you were coming from behind like this way but this time with that particular curl you follow it you lift up okay so you have this lift up motion going both hands kind of following each other so here lift up coming around it turns over and it comes to the other side okay so really slowly hand turns over hand turns over comes to the other side hand turns over hand turns over comes to the other side coming around and then let's say you have like a double push like you at the end so once you have let's say like this particular maneuver let's say done this this is the last let's say like a maneuver let's say like a going on so really really slowly this is the, these are the points that you want to be kind of let's say focusing on this type of these they're all interlinking all of these actual movements are related like to each other and the double push like you at, at the end so this type of let's say thing going on drilling underneath lifting over parrying catching the other person's like a hand like a from underneath these type of let's say, little, little small little moves if you see them like a, this way see that's kind of a pass off let's say, like a, from someone's hand, hand let's say, like a, or um, a swipe out like a mopping the hand out of the way so let's say for example someone's caught your hand here you've lifted it up and you're kind of bringing it out let's say, like you to move or clear like oh, the the grabbing hand like oh, that's caught this hand so thinking about here someone's caught you you're lifting it up here this is the type of kind of effect let's say, that you want to have kind of going on let's say, with these um particular let's say, like your movements so those are like your three of the kind of the the ones i kind of really wanted you to show today because they're a little bit more complicated let's say than the other ones like oh, that you would have seen let's say like oh, before so hopefully you kind of get a bit of a benefit like out of as i said this particular position here you want to get that turn follow 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 and that movement at the end double pressing palm you've seen this like you're probably like a lot let's say, like you're in let's say, the the jong like a farm like where you have this type of motion but what you're doing is you're doing it in a a forward that's like a position let's say like you're with the feet just a little bit shoulder width apart pressing out that's activating the shoulders the the lats like your and the lower back let's say like with that particular like a movement it's a very powerful movement if you get it on and it's really kind of used let's say for example if you kind of come across someone you're pressing like or shoving them let's say like go back let's say like go this can also be used like you're here that can be used this as a grab let's say like on the belt on the belt let's say like or the clothing and if it's, you're going against let's say like the chin it can be used really at close quarters it can be pushing under the chin and you're pulling back let's say like with this one so you've got this type of little motion going on so you're aiming to kind of like your knock or kind of push the person over or to break tip their balance 
with their back so that they stumble back or fall over and obviously that's a other kind of like a maneuvers you can kind of pull off let's like after that related like to some of the, the single palm changes you have that's it that leg catch as well which you can kind of follow on with as in here so like let's say for example if you're getting a more wide of a view let's say I've let's like go parry, let's say the person's got grabbed their let's like go their belt or let's say their clothing like go underneath around like this area. I pushed up underneath the chin from here. Okay. Now what you could do, let's say like is something if their leg is like go there, like go just in front of you, something like a duck like go um, lands on water, let's say or um the snake like creeps down like a position, you can actually go down, let's say like to catch that leg and pull them up like from there to break their balance like a further. And you lift up and they're going onto the ground that's like after that so those are kind of like some of the main things i kind of wanted to show you like today um as regards to these catches like if you're catching underneath let's say like someone's ankle catching the knee at the same time this particular maneuver as a kind of a takedown where you're catching the back of the ankle let's say taking the knee and kind of pushing pulling them up like at the same time that's what a lot of these like a particular hand positions let's say, like go and kind of turns like this particular one here this can be an under wrap for a number of let's say, like go different things where let's say if someone let's say, like go grab let's say, like go someone let's say came let's say, like go with a kind of a side kick like go to this direction here let's say you're kind of turning into it trying to meet the force like go kind of almost bounce off it here you've lifted the leg up slightly and then you're dumping them like onto their backside let's say like go with that as a particular throw and if you still have let's say like go the catch on on the back of like go the leg like go from here this clamp you could then let's say like go while they're face first like in the dirt you can then start like go rotating like you the ankle or kind of moving the ankle like go um or dislocating the ankle let's say as a kind of a finishing move like so that they can't continue the fight or they can't continue like to attack you so like these methods in Baguazhang, like oh, they are, let's say, like oh, kind of pretty brutal. Like oh, some of the throwing and the kind of the joint locking and the joint dislocation, it's meant, let's say, like oh, to get the job over and done with, like oh, very, very quickly. And kind of talking about, like oh, some of the kind of like oh, the the kind of the the, the emperor's guards who would have been taught Baguazhang and like oh, some of the military like oh, officials, like oh, the reason why they kind of gravitated like oh, towards this particular style is because. A lot of the movements you you basically kill two birds like with one stone. Your body weight, let's say, it's learning to dislocate. Let's say, like a person's let's say <clears throat> arm, and you're also getting a really heavy strike like going top of let's say either the occipital cavity or let's say the the temple or like the jaw. Let's say like to knock the person out. So you see, but with a lot of like the entry movements like for example, let's say flower hides under the leaf like you're leaning on the horse asking the way. This particular move I showed a number of times, but you basically have that one entry one strike kind of let's say like a principle and then let's say you've got the person's hand grabbed like go by there on the underneath and then you're using your your body like to kind of crack let's say like other or jar like the elbow out of place while at the same time like you're getting that elbow or let's say forearm let's say or palm strike like go across the way and let's say you're you're in a position where you can now survey the land so to speak, I've basically dealt with this guy, and now I'm let's like go making off, let's like go, or let's say I'm making my my escape, let's like go after like that initial encounter. So there's a lot of like benefits like go to like go practicing Baguazhang. So that's just kind of one kind of insight. Let's like go why let's say some certain military bodyguards. Um, and like a high end list of military officials kind of gravitated like towards the art it kills a lot of birds like with the one stone that's that's basically it. it's it's um it's advanced simplicity if you want to talk about it let's like in another like a term now the the last like thing i kind of wanted to kind of like do with you like today let's like go is just kind of focusing on let's like some of the other like aspects of let's like the single palm change now what i really want you kind of like to start let's like you kind of like you're working on if you have a mirror and you're basically like you're just looking at let's say your posture making sure your back like is filled out your head let's say like is relaxed neutral and i want you just to basically like a step let's say like go into let's say like the single palm change let's say like a position like us straight away like go here so you're dropping your body weight you turn let's say your waist like go slightly 
and you're here. Now, this particular position, as regards like the holding of it, you have let's say like with this arc, let's say like you in the between the hands here, the hand is cupped. There's a there's a relaxation like you here, let's say in the center, but it's almost like it's kind of cupped slightly. The right hand is pressing down. Imagine kind of let's say like a heaviness like you're going on, let's say like you're with it, okay. Your the tip let's say of your fingers let's say like you should be almost let's say like at just a bit a little bit around let's say the eye height, and the other hand should be around let's say your navel let's say like or your dantian. Now you should be able to hold this position let's say like for roughly five minutes, relaxing the body, relaxing the shoulders. So. At the end of let's say like with this particular practice, let's say like on one side, you then let's say like you relax the hands and you step like back up, let's say like once again. And then you do like the same, let's say like and um, practice like go on the, 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 the other side. So this time, let's say once again, you're relaxing, turning the waist slightly. Okay, so here once again. Left hand, let's say, is around, let's say, like the navel point. Shoulders relaxed, arms relaxed. That slight little, let's say, hold, like, or pocket, let's say, like, in the palm, looking forward. Okay. Now, from here, let's say, if you're doing, let's say, like, you want to do an, an outside, let's say, palm change, what you're doing is you're turning into cowboy, clamping in, flower hides under the leaf. And then you turn over to the other side. So you're here once again. So these like your static positions, like if you're holding them, like they're going to build up, let's say, your leg strength. And they're going to build up, let's say, like your actual ability, like to hold like these positions and feel the heaviness, like in your in your arms. Let's say, like you actually can feel your your actual body weight in your arms. And then like after a while, be able to exert, let's say. Your body, let's say, like a weight, let's say, like a, and your hands are basically the the final, like a layer of transmission, like a, for the striking, like a, to actually, like a, hit the object. So, like if I if I'm let's say, like a, here, clamp. This is a kind of a striking, let's say, like a maneuver. So here, let's say, if I'm in, let's say, like a, um, opening out the moon. One way to kind of do a clamp as a striking, like a, option here. And then I'm looking over and then <laughs> open. <laughs> so you're getting that, <laughs> that chop forearm, that strike, let's say, like go to the ziphi process or to the groin or like go to the ribs at the same time. So here, once again, that clamp. <laughs> there we go. Once again. And let's like go from, from there. Let's say you, you've got let's like go the your other kind of like go follow ons. Like if you want to kind of let's like go, let's say work on them. Let's like go fierce tiger X is the cave. Like go etc. Boom this way. Or let's say from here following the kind of the form. These type of like go maneuvers like go thereafter. So those coils. If you watch this in my body, like I'm going to try and like do it like a really like a slow. That coil, see how much that's like good. How much kind of clamping is going on from here, and then let's see you're dropping your body weight like a forward, almost in a kind of a roll. There's a slight like a roll like a to it. You know, with these actual maneuvers. So. Those are kind of like maybe some of the kind of finer points you can actually like work on, let's say, doing let's say single palm change and also let's say like some of the teacup exercises. Um, you can do one like a final thing to kind of just show you like as well on the teacup exercises. You can do let's say multiple like your circles. So you can go here. going down until you get down to the very end like you're here multiple like your uh, heights like you're here
okay so that's just kind of some other kind of like your little ideas like you're kind of like your player which you can do let's say like go these at different heights and at different angles um obviously they go focus on let's say getting the first version of the exercise like you're down and you feel comfortable doing it and you can do it from memory but then let's say at a later stage you can start like you're playing like you're with a couple of these ideas start inserting like your different things so like you're, for example here around the back of the head Pijang then like you're afterwards like you're so here I'm doing it from another angle Pijang boom that here, here, clamp, clamp, pigeon. So you're basically piercing like with the fingertips. It's going to all the kind of the nice little soft, vulnerable parts on the human body, like the eyeballs, the throat, the the sides, let's say, like of the neck, let's say, like you know, where the, the the blood vessels, like you are. So you're hitting like you with the fingertips, like for just that, like a brief moment. So um, that's pretty much like everything, guys. Um, if you do have any questions, like you can always send a message like on my way. Um, I'd like to see like you're kind of practicing like you're some of the material, and if you do want to send on the videos like to me, I can give you some feedback on what you're doing as well. All right, listen. Thanks once again, and I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.